It was Thursday, September 7th, 2017, and the people of Florida were bracing themselves as Hurricane Irma barreled toward the coast. Local news station happened to be on site at an Orlando Lowe's as people rushed to claim essential supplies. There, luck was on the side of Ramon Santiago, who was able to snag one of the last cherished few generators left in the store. Now, as he made his way to checkout, Mr. Santiago Santiago saw a woman crying. The woman, Pam Brecky, had been hoping to purchase a generator as well for her father in order to power his oxygen. She was next in line, but it was too late. Lowe's was out of generators and Pam was out of options. Seeing her tears, Ramon insisted she take the generator he was about to purchase. Pam was overwhelmed with gratitude. Now later that afternoon, when another generator became available, a Lowe's store manager thought of Santiago's kindness and in the ultimate fairy tale ending, provided Santiago with a generator free of charge. And the picture of, of Brecky and Mr. Santiago embracing in the middle of Lowe's quickly gained steam online, illustrating the power of kindness in the middle of a disaster and for a few moments was a bright spot in an otherwise very stormy week. Now that is an awesome story, a perfect PR moment, a true moment of heroism, humanism, and good people doing good things for other good people. But there is a problem with that story. In the world of social media and the constant addiction to content, it is king. After all, that story was told, lived its typical PR cycle, and like yesterday's newspaper is out with the trash and otherwise forgotten. With a society that's, that's so obsessed with sustainability and easy and eager to reuse, why is it then that we, and this is the problem, that we, that we toss out important stories the second the limelight fades? Moments like these are happening every day inside companies, big and small. Stories of businesses employing humans who go out of their way to serve other humans. Yeah, maybe the stakes aren't as high as a hurricane, and maybe the news crew isn't there to catch it on film. But overlooking these stories means missing huge opportunities, both internally and externally, to communicate on a very intimate level, in a very memorable way, the essence of who you are as a company and as a brand. So, here are three, three quick tips for seizing these powerful story opportunities and not letting them go to waste. First, develop a system for cultivating these frontline stories. Start weekly meetings with frontline stories. Create an email address where supervisors and or team members can send stories in. Your goal is to make it convenient for the, the team, the employees, to share stories quickly and efficiently. Second, tell these stories on the inside as well as the outside. It's tempting to take all of your stories and push them out into the public. However, telling them internally has huge advantages as well. Keeping team members engaged, hiring great talent, both of these are modern business challenges that can be addressed with sharing stories of your team with your team. And lastly, you have to tell these stories without any hope of immediate return. Your first inclination might be to use a human interest story to sell a product or boost your company's image. And though a story certainly has the ability to do that, it should not be your first objective. Tell these stories with the primary goal of authentically sharing and illustrating what matters to you and the company and to connect on a human level with customers, employees, and other stakeholders. So stop. Right now, reach out to a colleague, an employee, a, a team member, even a client, and ask them about a time when they saw someone within your company going above and beyond the call of duty for a customer or for somebody else, even in a small way. Jot it down in an email, I like this. <laughs> the subject can be a small story that means big things and send it to your team and watch that story mean more than any recent PR moment. Thanks for being here, as always, with me, and I sure hope that helps. I look forward to hearing all of the stories you find.